Salut tout le monde, on est ici pour la dixième édition de Hardcore Food. On est ici à Québec. So, what I'm saying here is that we are in Quebec and we're, for the tenth, we're here for the 10th edition of Hardcore Food. And we're at Shea Edgar, or just Edgar, on the Quebec side in uh, Elmer. And we've ordered a chai tea latte, and a, or chai tea, sorry, and a cafe au lait made with espresso. And we've also ordered from the menu a Dutch baby, and I've ordered the tomate frit, which features sort of polenta, chorizo, tomato, and poached eggs. But we'll have a better look at that later. Anyway, this is also a restaurant that was on You Gotta Eat Here, and uh, we're here. It's one of the maybe last few beautiful, warm-ish days here in Ottawa for the season. So we thought what better way to come out than one of our favorite breakfast joints just across the river on the Quebec side. We are here for the second half of our installment here in Quebec. First time being in Quebec for hardcore food and we're here at Chez Edgar or just Edgar. As you can see from behind me, it's a very, very small, cute little restaurant run by a very uh, sweet French lady. Um, you might have seen it on You Gotta Eat here, or if not, then you might have heard about it on Urban Spoon or on other kind of foodie websites in the Ottawa area. It's an excellent restaurant, phenomenal, very, very small little kind of hole in the wall though here in, the, in Elmer. Uh, very tiny inside, nice cute little patio though, so it's, it's great to come in the summer, good to come in small groups too. Um, as I mentioned, I came with my, my girlfriend, we, I had a cafe au lait to drink, and which you can have two ways, you can have with espresso or like a filtered coffee. I was feeling kind of tired, so I went for the espresso, it was excellent, very very good. Cinnamon was well within reach to, to add to it as well. And my girlfriend had a chai tea, which was very nice, simple and pure. <clears throat> and then she ordered the Dutch baby, which is kind of like a crepe turned into like a basket sort of, where that holds all sorts of goodies, being pork belly, apple, maple syrup, and uh, a strong cheddar cheese, and it's all kind of in there in this hodgepodge, just sort of brewing in the hot maple syrup. It's really yummy, really delicious. The, you, you, when you bite into the cheese, it's kind of almost gooey and melty, but still keep retaining its shape, and you still get that kind of strong cheddar flavor that, that you want so much. The pork belly, um, really delicious, really well cooked, very, I mean, very fatty though, so it's a very flavorful meat and kind of rich too so you if, if you're trying to watch the calories a bit you might have to scrape some of the fat off of that as we did a little bit but it was awesome really really good and uh, it even comes with a nice ground cherry on top too for add to the presentation uh, the crepe was great the apples were good the syrup was real proudly made in Quebec maple syrup so it was awesome and I had the tomate frit which translates to fried tomatoes and it doesn't really tell you I guess it's kind of lost in translation that it's fried green tomatoes actually and it comes with two poached eggs and sort of a little slurry of vegetables sweet potatoes um, uh, or sa sauteed green onion which I have to say is my first time I've ever had that and it was really good uh, grilled corn uh, zucchini and then it comes with like an, an aioli almost like a light light hollandaise sauce as well as um, chorizo, which was really great and kind of cooked into these almost curls. It was awesome, really tasty. Oh, and a huge wedge of polenta too. Very cheesy, firm, cakey polenta. It was awesome. Almost maybe a bit too rich for me after... It was still a fair, fair sized portion even though it wasn't that big, but getting about halfway through it was almost maybe too rich. My only critique, if you can call that a critique, is like something's too epic for you, I guess, to eat. But uh, anyway, it was really, really good. Never disappointed when I come here. We've, we've been three or four times and they're fantastic. They've got all sorts of baked goods, uh, including like brioche and overly decadent muffins or donut muffins and cookies and all sorts of things like that. As well as they even have, I guess for the summer, or spring, summer, and maybe early fall, they have these like ice cream uh, cookie sandwiches, which are really, really epic and homemade as well. So I totally recommend Shea Edgar. Never have a bad meal coming here. Always beautiful presentation, and they're always doing something really funky and creative that you can't get in a lot of other places here in Ottawa. So, Shea Edgar, that's that's where I want to live.